Hello and good afternoon. Here is the news afternoon first. The highlight. Lagos State Health Management Agency organizes a Kusha town hall meeting in Ibile Divisions. Federal government kicks off free compressed natural gas conversion for over 1,000 commercial vehicles in five states. And Florentine Italian police marshes video game trafficking ring worth 50 million euros. And in Sport Niger faces Mali in FIBA and 18 women Afro Basket 2024 finals in South Africa. Now the details, I am Mike James. The Lincoln State Health Management Agency, Lashma, has organized an Eco Social Health Alliance, Eco Sharp Town Hall Meeting, with the vulnerable under Ilera Eco Health Insurance in the five Ibile divisions in the state. Permanent Secretary Lashma, Manuela Zamba, while flagging of the Eco Shari Ibile Divisions Town Hall Meeting at Eco Sherry Local Council Development Area, said this is an agency's commitment towards ensuring customer satisfaction and feedback from its enrollees. Zamba said it became necessary for the agency to organize the forum to be abreast of how in release are being treated while accessing care at the hospitals, understand the challenges they face and prefer solutions. She also said the feedback from in release will enable Lashma to ensure better planning, implementation and monitoring process. The permanent secretary urged the vulnerable and release to show self-medication and drug abuse but rather implored them to access care whenever they are ill. Other than that, the agency is fully committed to ensuring that enrollees receive the highest quality of care so that they can live a healthy life. The Lake State Water Ways Authority Laswa has backed the successful conclusion of the fourth edition of the Water Savvy Kids Programme, an initiative aimed at educating children about the importance of inland waterways transportation and conservation. In his remarks, Commissioner for Transportation, Oluwashi Moshiemi, congratulated the students and Laswa for their dedication towards improving the waterways transport system. Oshiemi also emphasized the importance of inland waterways transportation, saying it is the lifeblood of cities, communities, and the future. And as part, Laswa's general manager, Damlola Emmanuel, expressed pride in the progress made in raising awareness about the vital role of inland waterways in the ecosystem and the need to protect them. Emmanuel commended the students who participated in the program for their enthusiasm and commitment to safety, saying they had proven that no one is too young to make a difference. Nigerians have been urged to partner with government at all levels in community development by adding value to their various institutions and encouraging their services. The Chief Executive Officer of Global Transport Policy, Shagun Musa, made a call at the third edition of its Masterclass Train the Trainer workshop tagged, Improving Your Leadership Skills, the Emotional Intelligence Option, organized for traffic managers and other uniformed personnel. Musa charged the participants who were drawn from the Lagos State Command of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, and Vigilante Group of Nigeria to improve their efficiency, capacity, and be more receptive as they interface with the general public in order to add value to their performance. We also need to support government. In appreciating what we're doing as agencies of government, it behoves on us to see how we can add more value to what we do and give it more encouragement. Uh, if we allow government to do it all, to train all of you, we might be waiting indefinitely because there's much that government needs to do. We've taken it up as a responsibility to see how we can partner with government in ensuring that our officers are trained. Lagos State's Commandant of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, Adedot Nkeshiru, who was represented by the Chief Superintendent of the Corps, Arua Kadri, commanded the initiative and promised to build more on the ethics and conduct in the discharge of their duties. The officers will continue to be focused, you know, when you repeat an act, when you repeat a particular thing, it becomes a part of the person, the nature of the person. So I think that's what training does, and it makes the officers to be focused on, to be more aware, and even in their subconsciousness, they will be able to uh, reproduce what they have been trained to address strictly, strictly to the ethic of the profession and their, their conduct in relating with uh, the people they are to protect. 
uh, because you don't jeopardize what you have to protect. So when you are constantly reminded in form of training, it helps you to also perform very well. And also speaking, Group Commandant Vigilante Group of Nigeria, Tajidin Okwemi, promised to carry out the task ahead by training the other officers to achieve the global best practices. In his presentation, the Director of Training Global Transport Academy, Shegun Awelbi, charged the officers on effective communication, team bonding, and as well, four-star friendship for optimal service delivery. The federal government has commenced the dredging of the Ogun River from its Lagos state end near Ikorudu down to Sherry as part of efforts to prevent a perennial flooding of communities along this axis in Ogun and Lagos states. Speaking during the flag of the managing director and chief executive officer of the Ogun Oshu River Basin Development Authority, Deji Oshu, said a 10 kilometer dredging project would help to widen and deepen the river increasing its capacity to accommodate more water and control flooding. Ashur stated that the project, which is expected to last six months, would also help prevent incident of dam collapse due to large volumes of water, as occurred in Maiduguri, Burno State on Tuesday. He emphasized that this intervention highlights the federal government's commitment to prioritizing the safety of lives and property across the country while working diligently to prevent flooding. And over to the rest of the stories, about 1,050 commercial vehicles that passed the quality tests will this weekend benefit from the free installation of compressed natural gas, CNG, as a pilot phase of the exercise kicks off in four states in Abuja and Abuja, the FCT. 21 designated centers have been identified to handle the exercise, while Abuja and Lagos have six centers designated as accredited centers, Kaduna, Ogu, and Oyo State have three centers each, where interested operators can have their vehicles tested and converted. The kits to be given free of charge are the gas cylinders, which will be fitted on benefiting vehicles with the necessary gadgets and fittings. The exercise would be on a first come, first serve basis at all dedicated centers working with the PICNG program. The Nursing and Midwifery Council of Nigeria has reopened the verification portal for nurses and midwives on its website. Nurses and midwives can now submit verification requests and the expiration date on renewal applications will be calculated based on the date applied. On February 7, the Council released a second guideline for requests and verification and certificates for nursing and midwives in the country. By the secular, nurses and midwives must have a minimum of two years post-qualification experience from the date of issuance of the permanent practicing license, and the council shall request a letter of good standing from the chief executive officer of the applicant's place of work, and the last nursing training institution attended, and responses on these shall be addressed directly to the registrar, CEO, NMCN, among others. The sudden deactivation of the verification portal by the council plunged countless Nigerian nurses and midwives working abroad into turmoil. Already, some nurses without the necessary verification from the NMCN find themselves in violation of visa conditions and employment laws resulting in legal consequences. And in some foreign news, a video game trafficking ring has been smashed by police in Italy after fake vintage consoles and games worth almost 50 million euros were seized. Among the counterfeit games were popular titles from the 1980s and 90s, including Mario Bros, Street Fighter and Star Wars. The pirated consoles were imitations of the iconic devices produced by Nintendo, Sega and Atari and did not meet strict safety standards. New versions of video games and gaming consoles that were released decades ago have recently soared in popularity and command high prices in a cultural trend known as retro gaming. According to head of the Economic Crime Unit for Turin's Financial Police, Alessandro Langella, around 12,000 consoles owning over 47 million pirated video games were seized by police. Meanwhile, nine Italian nationals have been arrested and charged with trading in counterfeited goods. If found guilty, they face up to eight years in prison. 
And over to sports news, Nigeria will today face Mali in the final of the FIBA Under-18 Women's Afro Basket 2024 at the University of Pretoria, South Africa. Gino D. Tigress reached the stage by defeating Uganda 71-67 in a nail-biting semi-final clash at the same venue on Friday. The Narrowin also securing them a ticket for the FIBA Under-19 Women's Basketball World Cup 2025 in Czech alongside Mali, who stream road Cameroon 103.45 in the other semi-final clash at the same venue earlier in the day. Nigeria alongside Rwanda qualifying to the knockout stages had the best third place finisher seen off Egypt in the quarters and repeating the feat against Uganda for a 71-67 victory. Now is our news at 12, but just before we go, maintain adequate distance from the vehicle ahead of you to avoid collision. You can follow us and like all our various social media platforms, X, Traffic Radio 961, Facebook, Lagos Traffic Radio 96.1 FM, Instagram, Lagos Traffic Radio 961, Subscribe and watch our news and programs live on YouTube, Traffic Radio 961. You can also visit our website, www.trafficradio961.ng. Did you know that the Somolu administration constructed watchtowers with alarm bells and perimeter fences and model colleges? You can always get details on the latest government website and to end the news, here are the highlights of the major stories. The Lagos State Health Management Agency, Lashma, has organized an Eco Social Health Alliance, Ecosha, town hall meeting with the vulnerable under Ilira Eco Health Insurance in five Ibile divisions in the state. About 1,050 commercial vehicles that passed the quality test will this weekend benefit from the free installation of compressed natural gas, CNG, as the pilot phase of the exercise kicks in four states and Abuja, the FCT. We also told you that a video game trafficking ring has been smashed by police in Italy after fake vintage consoles and games worth almost 50 million euros were seized. In sports, Nigeria will today face Mali in the final of the FIBA Under-18 Women's Afro Basket 2024 at the University of Pretoria, South Africa. And for contact with the newsroom, send a message to info at trafficradio961.ng. That ends the news broadcast. This was compiled by Adiswa Ejoyoka. Thank you for listening. My name is Mike J.